I'm Brian and I'm the contractor from Backyard Builds. This whole back wall is useless. And I'm Sarah, I'm the designer. Pretty things, pretty things. One of our favorite things to create in any space is feature walls. It's a design trick we love to use to create visual interest in a room and make neutral spaces pop. Here are three unique feature walls that'll make your guests look twice. What? what, what? what? Number one, graphic stripe. Bold graphic stripes are easy enough to create. All you need is painter's tape, some great colors of paint, and a steady hand. To work out your stripe pattern, you're gonna to wanna to measure that out on the wall. I love using a chalk line. It makes everything really easy. If you don't have one of those, it's a lot of measuring and a lot of rulers, but then you just tape it all out. There are no rules when it comes to stripe painting. This is where you add your own artistic flair when it comes to the width or the color or even the number of them. But keep in mind, whenever you're painting the stripes, you gotta wait for the other one to dry before you can do the next one, so you might be there for a year. Yeah. <laughs> I also like using sort of unexpected color combinations. It really makes a very impactful statement. It looks really good. Thanks. You're not bad. Number two, acoustic tile. If you're looking to dampen some noise, think about using acoustical tiles. They can be functional and beautiful. Looks awesome. On this project, we decided to use a honeycomb pattern and we had it rain out down the wall. And cool hits of color in there too. These tiles are sound dampening, but they also kick up the style of the space, up a bunch of notches, like five notches at least. Take the dial to like 11. Number three, plywood strips. Once considered a basic, cheap building material, it's now getting a total rebirth as a cool accent wall. I've used plywood as a finishing material in like pop-up shops and really cool sort of more edgy urban restaurant design. On this project, I used construction grade plywood, which is about $30 a sheet, but I cut it on the ply side, exposing the striped layers onto a wall, which is a beautiful effect and also doubles as a corkboard. The great thing about a material like plywood is it's not precious at all, so it's very affordable. And if you mess up, you can try again. Throw your rule book out the window when you're doing a feature wall. Look at products through a different lens and install them a different way to get a really unique, cool effect. It's one wall. Just try something. 